Let's go live. Of course I'm going live. What's the alternative, you know what I mean? How's it sound out there? Uncle Ted do it. Yes, indeed. Should dedicate an impromptu of kiss my ass. You know, kid, no kid to Trudeau. I don't even waste my time. What a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> what a piece of shit Fidel Castro's son is. You all know that prick-ass Trudeau is Fidel Castro's son, don't you? You know that communism gene throttles through his subhuman DNA. So how you doing? Do you feel the spirit? Is this the Ted Nugent campfire where so much positive energy, piss and vinegar throttles on relentlessly in that not so quiet night on the not so mean streets of America? Do you feel the love? <laughs> Happy Wednesday, February 9, Clusterfuck 22. So I hope you're feeling good. I hope everybody's healthy. Healthy. I hope you're taking good care of yourself. You know, in this culture war turned shit hell zone feces and needle spiritual war you know there is a simple pr procedure proven guaranteed actually oh nothing's guaranteed but as close to guarantee as you can get of upgrading your happiness life liberty and pursuit thereof and overall quality of life you know what it is don't you this is ted nugent spirit campfire i'm not going to steer you towards the corrupt greedy criminal so-called health care system no we don't need to go to health care system no no not the system of provided health care how about the system of caring about your health 
What a great campfire I provide. Can you feel the warmth? Can you cook the marshmallows? You see the sunshine coming? I got sun. What a great, this is the man cave. Can you see the sunshine? How do you do this? Look at that. Oh, there's a light. Shemaine said I should use a light. But I got God's light there. And this is the, uh, got bows and arrows, got guitars, got amplifiers, got fender twins, got gun safes loaded with artillery. <laughs> I wrote a love song called Come and Take It. Go ahead and try, go ahead and die. I sent a copy to Beto Prickass O'Rourke. Her name isn't Beto. Not, not. See, nothing about the Democrats is true or honest. Joe Biden's spirit is as real as his face. Botox boy. So celebrate the positive by let's starting out at the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire in this glorious February 9th, clusterfuck 22, by digging into autonomy, self-sufficiency, personal accountability, taking good care of oneself and actually caring about our health so we don't have to squawk and cry and piss and moan about health care. First, you care about your health. And that starts with a real simple thing. I never went to medical school. I was too busy learning important things about health, like what Mr. Hand is grabbing and putting in Mr. Mouth. Mr. Hand doesn't bring any poison to Mr. Mouth. Well, I did have some, <laughs> I had some, uh, I had a Three Musketeers bar in the tree stand. <laughs> so moderation is everything. <laughs> Except when it comes to truth, logic, and common sense. You don't want any moderation in truth, logic, and common sense. But I've always cared about my health i.e. clean and sober. Mr. Hand doesn't bring Mr. Poison to Mr. Mouth. Mr. Brain tells Mr. Hand to not grab Mr. Poison. Here, I think that's Sadie. Sadie, happy Coco. They're all worn out because we killed some we killed some cocksploders today. Cocksploders, you say? What be this cocksploder of which you speak? A, a male pheasant is a cock, a cockbird. What do you guys got going here? <whistles> the troops are descending upon the cuckoo's nest. There's some workers working on our HVAC system because we are ripped off by soulless scamming construction pieces of shit who lied and cheated. But that's another topic for another day. But I was going to say that I do have an occasional less than ideal content from Mr. Hand and Mr. Mouth. I was at the theater the other night with some great people. What wonderful people. And debuting, premiering Shemaine's incredible documentary, Killer House. And I had some popcorn with the chemical butter on it. It's not real butter. There's no butter in that butter. Buttered popcorn. No butter in the buttered popcorn, I don't think, but it is delicious. <laughs> so, so I had a few handfuls. It was like throwing chemical buttered popcorn shrapnel into my face and it was delicious but again i think what do i go to the movies once every two years maybe once every 15 months sometimes i'll go years and years maybe six seven eight ten years without going to a movie because my movie is the nugent serengeti and the nugent swamp fen marsh in michigan but anyhow let's get back to the number one priority to beat the devil gang that has taken over our government at the devil gang Joe Biden, he has no soul. His whole is his soul is as fake as his face. Eighty year old man with no wrinkles. His entire existence is one big tragic toxic lie. Like his plugs on his head. You know, I, I don't wanna call the president the devil. I don't want to say that Uncle Sam is the number one threat to America. But the president is the devil, and the number one threat to America is Uncle Sam. The FBI is not a law enforcement agency anymore. It's a gang organization. It's, it's a lying, cheating, perjury, oath-violating, criminal, criminal gang. You see, there's the Crips and the Bloods, MS-13, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and the FBI. Well, how, how tragic. And all you FBI agents who are angry, that's guilt. You know damn well I'm right. You swore an oath, a sacred oath to the U.S. Constitution, they violate it. 
You obey immoral orders. You you obey wrong, immoral, oath-violating orders. Shame on you. Just shame on you. And sh <laughs> Happy's going up and down the stairs. That dog, I love my dog. Do you love your dog? So love yourself more than you love your dogs. I hope you find quality, real food for your dogs. And I hope we concentrate. Hello, Happy. Hey, Happy. Come over here, buddy. He's a good boy. What do you think, Hap? Hey, come on. You're a good boy. Look at that good-looking man. Catahoula, black mouth, curl. Look at that black mouth. Catahoula, black mouth, curl, yellow lab. You are a good man. Happy the Jack man. Look at that man. He goes, I would kill something for you, Dad. <laughs> Good man, buddy. He thinks he's protecting me. I protect him, and he protects me. It's a reciprocal relationship. Reciprocity be us. But anyhow, quality control is always better than damage control. Drugs, alcohol, tobacco. Well, you know, I, I chew on a Cuban cigar when I shoot my machine guns. And sometimes around a campfire, the American campfire, don't you hear it calling your name? Sometimes my buddies, my rich buddies, have these Cuban cigars, and they smell wonderful. You have to admit they smell wonderful. <laughs> I smell wonderful. Though I have some funny stories and moments where I didn't smell so wonderful, and I should, I should probably share them with you, because I shared one on some podcast today, called the uh, Rock Cast with Eric and Parker. <laughs> we got into fartology. And I, of course, I have the best fartology episodes in the history of escaping gas. But that's for another time. Let's concentrate on health care, first of all. Not health care, but caring about your health. Because who's in charge of your health care? You are. So I said, no drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco. Well, I do take an Ambien once in a while when I'm like, the music is driving me wild. But mostly I take natural melatonin and stuff that Shemaine gives me and a little glass of white wine. So no drugs, no alcohol, tobacco. Well, that's some alcohol. Those are drugs. And my Cuban cigars are tobacco. But I don't smoke. Yeah, I puff on the cigar. I don't inhale. But And what do I have, like four in my lifetime? 73 years I've had four cigars and I probably only chewed on them for a minute or two. So you see what I mean? A little intellectual management. And so that's the tobacco, a Cuban cigar when I shoot my machine guns or around the campfire farting with the friends. <laughs> well, he's hypocritical, whatever. I just admit, I've always admitted that I drink red wine with my back straps. But does that make me a drinker? I don't think that makes me a drinker. Not, you know. Anyhow, you get the picture? So I care about my health. I'm 73, and if I had a little bit of sleep, I'd be downright good-looking. But you have to deal with this. My ammo bags are under my eyes because I'm an energetic, flame-throwing son of a bitch because my life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness can be described gonzo, okay? But I'm conscientious about my food and what I put into Mr. Sacred Temple. If everybody did that, the obesity, the heart disease, the different health complications that are self-inflicted 99% of the time. So how about here at the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire, we vow to just think more positively and more conscientiously about our lifestyle. And another one, I talk about it all the time, mind your own business, well, whatever, it's a spirit campfire, I'm shooting the shit with people out there. Hilarious and full, yes. <laughs> Never, my idea of fast food is a mallard, okay? I'm trying to read some of these. Um, politics, well, I'm not into politics. Then move to Cuba where you're not allowed to be into politics. You know what American politics is? We the people experimenting in self-government and demanding constitutional fiscal accountability from our elected employees. That's American politics. How dare any American not participate in this blood and guts earned experiment in self-government. See, oh, I like your political views. I don't have any political views. The Constitution, our founding fathers didn't write down hunches. 
let's presume we have the right to free speech. No, it's not a presumption. It's not, not a hunch. It's not a view. God gave me the right of the First Amendment rights. I can choose my religion or not. I can assemble and protest my government. God bless the Canadian truckers. Let's take a diversionary tactic for a moment. God bless the Canadian truckers. And now the American truckers going to the bridge in Detroit and going to the bridge in Port Huron and supporting those great, defiant, independent, autonomous Canadian truckers. What a great moment of middle finger perfection. God bless the Canadian truckers and all those great Canadians who stand for accountability. God bless you all. And God damn the Trudeau pricks for calling them Nazis and white supremacists. What a nasty, nasty, evil, dishonest crime that is. Joe Biden calling people who stand up for the Constitution and truth, logic, and common sense, well, they're racist. It's a bunch of black truckers, a bunch of Puerto Rican truckers, a bunch of Jamaican truckers. Are you kidding me? Don't you see? When the Marxists have nothing, racist are racist. <clears throat> White supremacy is the biggest threat to America. Not. White supremacy is zero threat to America. There's maybe a couple of Klansmen out there that no one's heard from. How many white supremacists have killed black people in Chicago this year? None. Last year, none. See? Oh, Candace Owens is a white supremacist. <laughs> See? The lion, just absolute lying punks. So let's get back to health care. So how much stronger could we be if we really took care of our health so that we had more piss and vinegar and more energy. Getting out my Gerber belt tool to file my hangnails because I've been working with birds and dogs and shotguns all day and trucks and Polaris's and Dodge Rams and Broncos. And so I rip my fingers to shreds. I can't believe I can still play guitar. <laughs> the shit I subject myself to every day. But anyhow, in this culture war turned into spiritual warfare, we will be more effective and quicker to victory if we are healthy and stronger. So why don't we all watch when we go to the grocery store, passing all those empty shelves. Thank you, Joe Biden, you prick. What a prick. What a treasonous, oath-violating, America-hating prick. The whole Democrat Party and Joe Manchin and Cinema. You can't be a Democrat if you don't agree with Pelosi's crimes. Quit the party. You're not a Democrat. If you don't agree with Nancy Pelosi's crimes, Joe Biden's crimes, if you don't believe in orchestrating the invasion of America, the Democrat policy, you can't be a Democrat, Joe. If you don't believe in engineered recidivism, unleashing devils, violent murderers and rapists and stabbers and assaulters throwing innocent women in front of subways, not the sandwiches, the trains. If you don't believe in that, you're not a Democrat because that's the Democrat policy. Well, the Democrats get to have insider trading, but you do, Mr. Citizen, who I work for, you're going to see what see. So we will better fight the culture war if we're stronger and healthier. And then the next step besides what we consume and how much we consume and the contents of what do we consume, how about the contents of the chemical warfare that goes on in almost every household in America? And a lot of people go, oh, I like air fresheners. Well, then, you're, then you like chemical warfare being bombarded upon your family. If you can't pronounce the contents of a product, don't buy it. Don't plug it in the wall to create heated chemical fumes for your children to breathe or for you to breathe. Just, it's not an air freshener. It's an air poisoner. Well, I like the scent of spring of my fabric softener. That's not the scent of spring. Your brain has bought a big lie. Well, downy fabric softener makes my clothes soft. It's poison. You're poisoning your, your brain, your lungs. So two simple things to immediately 
bring a healthier lifestyle. Smart food, minimal alcohol, tobacco, and drugs, maybe a Cuban cigar when you shoot your machine guns, or something about a cigar with a brass rainbow that just makes sense. Okay? <laughs> Good grief. Barack. I know you love it. I love you too. Um, I love truth, logic, and common sense. By the way, this is the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire, the epicenter of truth, logic, and common sense where we celebrate good over evil, kind of a, a Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Isn't that perfect? Self-defense is perfect. Joe Biden doesn't like self-defense. Joe Biden and his gang calls the peaceful families and the truckers up in Ottawa, Ottawa, based on the Ojibwe pronunciation, great, Amer great Native Americans up there, great Native North Americans up in Canada. I love you all. So he calls the truck protest a violent insurrection, but burning down Kenosha and burning down Seattle and Portland and Minneapolis, that was a mostly peaceful protest. Ramming and destroying all the storefronts in San Francisco and New York and Chicago, that's a peaceful rally. But truckers protesting illegal, immoral anti-Nuremberg trial findings of forced experimental shots. It's not a vaccination. Vaccinations protect you from stuff. This experimental shot doesn't protect you from anything. Tell me you know this. Tell me you're aware of all these super athletes biting the dust after getting the experimental shot. Tell me you're aware of the F-35 pilot, the superhuman athlete who had a heart attack flying the F-35 billion dollar jet because he took the experimental shot. Tell me you know this. Tell me you know there's more tragic side effects, crippling, paralyzation, sterilizations, heart conditions, death, more from this experimental shot they call the COVID vaccine. It's not a vaccine. This experimental shot that they lied that it will protect you from the weaponized communist Chinese Wuhan virus. It's not a vaccine. It's an experiment. Well, the FDA approved it because the FDA is corrupt, just like their boss, President Punk Ass Devil Biden. Who do you know anybody that trusts the government? Have you ever met? Do you know anybody? Because they're, they're idiots. They're idiots like the guy on the motorcycle wearing a mask. <laughs> They're mentally ill. If you're in your car by yourself with a mask on, you're mentally ill. Your brain isn't working. If you're walking across the parking lot with a mask on and there's nobody else within sight, you're an idiot. You're mentally ill. And if you weigh, if you have blubber, if, you, if you're aspiring to be a member of the sperm whale pod, but you wear a mask because you're worried about your health. You're, in, you're insane. You're insane. So if you know people like that, do not back away from them. We don't want to hurt their feelings, but it's time. It's time to hurt feelings in a quest for education and a more accountable lifestyle. So a healthy American is a more efficient and capable of American, and we are better prepared and fortified to fight this horrible culture war that the Democrats have unleashed upon us. The orchestrated invasion of America through our southern border, the price of everything, inflation out of control, exploding violent crime rates because it's engineered recidivism, trying to ban firearms because the first 20-some thousand gun laws aren't working. The 20-something 20, the 20 gun law will work finally. It'll finally work. Tell your friends who think that it's a gun problem to write the law that would stop a paroled rapist from using a gun. A paroled carjacker who carjacked with a gun on parole, released, how they're waiting for the next gun law. Do you see the insanity? The Democrats have a dream. It's called a gun-free zone. And in the Democrats' dream of a gun-free zone, the most innocent lives are slaughtered 
every time. They know this, and can you believe they want more of them? Here's how most innocent lives are slaughtered. We want to expand that. Okay? Truth, logic, common sense. And by the way, this truth, logic, and common sense is brought to you by TedNugent.com, which we finally got in a shitload of those. How cool are those? The Ted Nugent middle finger, eat shit and die, I'm a free man coin. The real homeland security. That coin is available at TedNugent.com, on sale now. And the Spirit Campfire is brought to you by TedNugent.com, where, by the way, <laughs> you can still get this little gem. Remember this little gem? They have those on the inventory. So if you want a real statement of definitive love, get yourself one of them babies. And you can also get, you know, middle fingers were meant to be on fire. You can also get this hat, personally autographed. This one is not personally autographed. I don't think any more of those, but it's so cool. It's got the Ted Nugent script. But this one is personally autographed. And this one is personally autographed. So if you want those, you go to tednugent.com. And also, I want to tell you, I'm not benefiting at all, except that truth, logic, and common sense benefits everybody. Get this book. Get this book and have your kids and your family read it. How do you kill 11 million people by Andy Andrews? Get this damn book. I'm going to tell you. And for all the chaos and all the heartbreak and all the stress, Uncle Ted has the remedy for all this stress. Well, First of all, tune into the Spirit Campfire will cleanse the soul. But if you get yourself a bow and arrow that is graceful and effortless to draw, and no matter how toxic the government is, big tech, the media lying monsters, <laughs> they're so brazen that they're, this cockroaches are spotlighting themselves now. It's beautiful. And yes, I'm sharing this with you with a shit-eating grin on my face because I improvise, adapt, and overcome. But ultimately, every day, I get my Matthews bow. This is an old one. This is a uh, traverse because I traverse the toxic landscape and I cleanse my soul with the mystical flight of the arrow that is the definitive martial arts of being one with your path in life that you and you alone, well, with God's help and God's gifts, we can take a deep breath. By now, Nancy Pelosi doesn't exist. Joe Biden doesn't exist. Crime explosions don't exist. I'm going to aim right at the... Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love my Matthews bow and the gold tip arrows. These are gold tip arrows. And this is the Fred Bear Boning Archery Blazer Vein. See the Fred Bear signature on there? Oh, there it is. That's the Fred Bear signature on Boning Archery's Blazer Veins. And this is a, a, a wrap that goes on my gold tip arrows. Look at that. How cool is that, huh? Do you have an arrow with your name on it? I do. But anyhow, I just shot this arrow at about 12 feet. I'll show you what that looks like. Can you see where that arrow hit? Jesus grabbed my arrow. Look at that nice flag over there. There's Fred Bear. There's a nice buck. There's another Matthews bow. But look at that arrow. You see? You see? The mystical flight of the arrow. Jesus grabbed my arrow and stabbed the bullseye geometrically dead center. Because Jesus grabbed my spirit. I'm not kidding. You need to escape the stress and the chaos and the ugliness and the toxicity of our government and media and the view and whoopee. What, a, what, a, what an idiot. 
<laughs> the cockroaches are spotlighting themselves. Is that beautiful? <laughs> So get yourself a bow and arrow and get a bow that you can draw gracefully. It should be effortless. You don't have to struggle. It's not a weightlifting competition. It's not about power and velocity and kinetic energy. It's about spirit, grace, and stealth. Here's Shemaine. Shemaine's greeting the dogs. She gets all, Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, Sadie, go, go. <laughs> so do I. I do that too. She's awesome. But anyhow, I, I do want to emphasize this book because ignorance is the uh, vacuum with which indecency and toxicity and lies and hate metastasize. But this book by Andy Andrews, How Do You Kill a Mil We need to know how rotten to the core people can be, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Democrats, Marxists, media, Don Lamont, nasty, horrible, horrible people, Hunter Biden. Oh, read the book, How Do You Kill 11 Million People by Andy Andrews, and read my book. People go, you ought to write a cookbook because you kill a lot of stuff. You should learn how to cook. You did it. Shemaine and I wrote this book. Look how pretty my wife is. Are you kidding me? Look how stupid I look. What a dirt ball. <laughs> That's a great book. A lot of people have uh, upgraded their diet. But anyhow, the stronger we are, the better we can defeat the uh, treasonous punks that have taken over our government. And now the elections are coming up. Please visit HunterNation.org. Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire, Truth, Logic, Common Sense, We the People, Experimenting in Self-Government. Barack is ultimately accomplished at HunterNation.org. We need to put boots on the ground that will vote for candidates. Barack that will vet and review and research candidates that stand for God, family, country, law and order, Constitution, Bill of Rights, Tenth Amendment, the Golden Rule, being the best that you can be, work ethic, the man in the arena. The great white buffalo looking for a storm, heading into the storm, defying the storm. What a great lick that is, huh? I remember I was tuning my guitar one day. night Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire I'm getting ready to watch Tucker Carlson because he's the best and I'm kind of interrupting uh, Jesse Waters he's damn good but thank you for supporting the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire please go to mypillow.com I mean it Mike Lindell has been a warrior on the front front lines for truth logic and common sense Mike Lindell great American go to mypillow.com type in the code I suppose you can type in the code TED T-E-D or the code SPIRIT. I don't have to ask Linda. Yeah, that was killer, wasn't it? The guitar sounds great, doesn't it? How about that?
But the new album has a song called Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall. I played it before, but I'll play it again. The guitar sound good? Does it sound good? CNN rules. <laughs> yeah, it rules the devil. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Something like that. Derek St. Holmes wrote that song. Phenomenal artist, phenomenal guitar player, phenomenal singer, phenomenal songwriter. But anyhow. <laughs> anyhow, does it sound good? Crank out Blackie. I got Blackie right here. I guess I could play. I'll play Blackie tomorrow night. But anyhow, this is a preview. This is a Wednesday night preview of the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. Thanks for supporting me. Go to MyPillow.com, type in the code T-E-D, or maybe type in the code SPIRIT. I think you get a discount either way, but they're having a great sale, great man, great great supporter of the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. And uh, I think, yeah, Love Jacker. What a great lick that is. I have a hard time remembering Love Jacker. But boy, did Derek sing his after off of that, but I... <laughs> That's it. That's the lick. I can't believe I remember that. What a great little lick. What a great lick. I don't know where I can... Like, where did I come up with that? How do you come up with stuff like that? Like... Everybody loves the American campfire. Don't you hear it calling your name? Tomorrow night I whip out Blackie because typically the Ted News and Spirit Campfire is officially a Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central Time. But thank you for gathering around the Ted News and Spirit Campfire. Don't you hear it calling your name? Go ahead and fan the flames. It's a long, long way to kingdom come, but I think we finally arrived. Life, liberty, and rock and roll. I've never felt so alive. Everybody loves the American Campfire. Don't you hear it calling your name? Barack. So uh, thank you for celebrating truth, logic, and common sense. So to review the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire on Wednesday, the 9th of February, Clusterfuck 22, let's take really good care of ourselves. Let's be strong and healthy. Make sure you're taking zinc every day, the vitamin zinc. Be sure you take vitamin A, B12, vitamin D every day, vitamin C every day. Barack. Make sure that you take really good care of yourself. <laughs> You love this shit, don't you? Oh, yeah, Need You Bad. What a great lick. What kind of lick is Need You Bad? Boy, I just glanced and everybody's got these killer licks. But, yeah, that was John Souter on the bass and the mighty Cliff Davies. But uh, Need You Bad goes... <laughs> It's always ca 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 
Right hand never stops, man. I'm telling you, if I jacked off, I'd pull my dick clean off. If the tour happens this year, let's all pray to God Almighty that the tour happens this year, but there is a guaranteed date. <sighs> April 29th in Panama City, the Panama City Beach Bash. Friday, the 29th of April, the Ted Nugent Band headlines, and the next night, Saturday, April 30th, Kid Rock headlines. Are you shitting me? You don't, you don't think Panama City is making a statement, do you? <laughs> Both middle fingers on fire like the A-10 warthog of middle finger America. Panama City, good call. Ted Nugent on Friday, April 29th, and Kid Rock on Saturday, April 30th in Panama City. Holy fire-breathing shitstorm fun. <laughs> So thank you for uh, celebrating the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. I will see you here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time. And we will celebrate truth, logic, and common sense. We the people, middle fingers on fire, and the, the pulsation of real Americans' defiance. Like the Canadian truckers, God bless you. And the American truckers, God bless you. God bless you all. Go to HunterNation.org and let's vote for the freedoms that these people are protesting for. HunterNation.org. And a great charity, I got to tell you, do not forget the great charity that are helping save American lives because our government is importing fentanyl to kill Americans. Did you get that? You got that? Write that down. Hey, FBI, why aren't you arresting somebody? Hey, Governor Abbott, why do you have the military on the board and the law enforcement, but you're not stopping them from coming over? Well, we're protecting our border from the trespassers, but here, let me help you in. Yeah, there's a person trespassing. I'll take your name, but then we'll let you in. Are you, are you kidding me? You think if I saw, found somebody trespassing on my property, I'd go, hey, uh, trespassing. Here, come right in. <laughs> what planet is that? <sighs> so the United States government is importing fentanyl to kill Americans. If that's not treason, what would be treason? So a great charity created by great young Americans, FullCircleProgram.com. Please go to FullCircleProgram.com. FullCircleProgram.com. Help young Americans save young American lives from the drug importation by our own government. I could be here for a hundred days and never run out of examples of outright glaring treason by our government and Joe Biden and his gangsters. God help us all. But better not, we should help us all. God gave us all the gifts we need. Let's take good care of ourselves. Let's be healthy and strong and fortified. And let's make sure we raise absolute hell with our elected employees and let them know that we see what they're doing and it's got to stop. Go to HunterNation.org and let's make sure everybody we vote for stands for God, family, country, secure borders, crushing crime, crushing the fentanyl importers instead of thanking them like Joe Biden. Oh, what the? <laughs> Planet of the cuckoo's nest. I love you all. Do you feel the love? I love good. That's why I work so hard to crush the bad and the ugly. Everybody's gonzo. You're absolutely correct. Good night, everybody, for now. I love you madly. By the way, the new single, American Campfire, is out now. I will have a lyric video to go with that soon. But the song, American Campfire, is a stone-cold, fire-breathing, all-American, motor city, high-energy, real, soulful, rhythm and blues, rock and roll masterpiece. Thanks to Greg Smith and Jason Hartless. And my team, Andy and Tim Padlin and the great Michael Lutz, we've created a killer all-American shit kicker, real soul music, rhythm and blues, rock and roll record. Ted Nugent, Detroit Muscle, coming out soon. But the new single, following the first single, Come and Take It, it's a love song. But the new single is American Campfire. That's a love song. American Campfire, available now. I don't know where you get it, but you'll figure it out. You're on this interweb thing, so you know all about this silliness. I love you all madly.